I hit something there on the way out. Yeah, I almost got trapped. That thing tried to hold me in place. <laughs> Our car got beat up on that run. Our storage is so full. Tardigrade count further increasing. We have now, we're now surpassing uh, 250, what is that? Trillion per million? I don't know, T per million. Approaching safe, safe operating limit. This is, we didn't expect this kind of growth. What are they doing in there? Are they spelling out letters? Tardigrades per million? Tardigrades per minute? Tabby prints money? I feel like that used to be true. Now I'm out here working. <clears throat> no, this isn't like the hat guy, that hat guy. This is something else I've never seen the face. It's always a figure, a shadow, kind of gray and fuzzy. A bunch of us have all had the same kind of dreams now. We'll be in the forest somewhere. The figure is always beside us, hard to see. It points towards something. And when we wake up, there's always something where it had pointed in the real life version of that place. One time it was this nest of stuff like frog spawn. Another time it was the first crawler in the zone. And once it was, it was what was left of Jack. Sighted consistently between late 1959 and early 1961, this anomaly was attracted to any transmitter broadcasting in particular shortwave bands. About the size of a bird, roughly spherical, chrome-like, and able to fly through unknown means, this anomaly would latch itself to the broadcast antenna and begin to dissolve or perhaps consume the metal. Stubborn and difficult to dislodge, this anomaly began to disappear when the zone personnel began using different, different frequencies. Briefly, a widespread blight, this tiny flying anomaly would bore into oil or gasoline tanks to seemingly drink from them. Rust colored, about the size of a horsefly, and traveling and fast moving. These were common through the summer of 1962. Though tougher than an insect, most could be swatted or stomped on. Sightings are now extremely rare, but occasionally still logged. Localized patches of this anomaly appeared throughout fringe areas of the zone between 1967 and 1968. Thin, waist-height, grass-like structures would spring up overnight. These were topped with variously colored bulbs that would frequently combust with the slightest friction. This anomaly was aggressively culled whenever it was found and has not been reported since December 1968. I want a new flashlight. I want a new mini turbine. Guess who's getting fed?
You done? You got anything else? Hey, yeah, you do. Out here, put all this away. Put this repair putty in here. I think I can just get this by hand. Got a lot of weird stuff on that that we don't normally look for. Okay. Rusty Brazen Fire says, get a pneumatic locker. So this is me getting a pneumatic locker. Repurposing the zone's various pneumatic retrieval systems. It isn't so much a storage locker itself as the interface for a small subterranean archive that sorts and stores whatever you present it with. So now, now if I put things in those little pneumatic tube toppers, they instantly suck back to this locker. Is that what happens? Because I thought they were supposed to come here. I will say that that does seem to just, what, hold an infinite amount of, of bullshit? Like, good bullshit. What is this? This device will allow you to use a scanner charge to send a modified signal to a junction scrambling it. I don't know what that means. You can re-roll a zone. Color me intrigued. <clears throat> Nitro boost, lead acid battery. All right, here's, here's what we're gonna do. Do I have leftovers? Yeah, so if a storm's got some bullshit, or if a zone's got some bullshit storms and stuff in it. Oh, wait. What was it I wanted? I wanted my lantern. Milk of my lantern. Get out of here. Damn, I need so much swamp coral for that. I guess I'm glad I made a flashlight.
When the car is in the air, every door closes. That doesn't seem like a bad thing. That seems like not the worst quirk to have. I think I'll not fix that. Oh, that's right. I did expand this thing. The quirk system is great. When they told me that they were doing that, I was like really, it, like very excited. I was very excited. What's your deal? You're just fragile. <clears throat> Who else is in terrible shape? This panel's in bad shape. One of these doors got to be fucked up. Yeah. You're going to go get healed up. What's your deal? You're also fragile. You're out of here. Maybe it's diagnosing those things on the fly. That is a crazy amount of storage. That just, I think is just where, where, where it's gonna go from here on out. Do I have a bumper that needs replaced? Probably. Not by a lot though. Can I put bumpers in here? I bet you I can't. Oh, I totally can. But then I have to be able to, like, find the thing. I guess you can see, you can see the icons down in the corner. I also think we're running three different kinds of tires. We're running two. Off-road, all-terrain. All-terrain and off-road. Spare. Oh, my God. I don't want to talk about it. I have no idea how long that's been like that. I think I like off-road the best so far. Like, all-terrain are nice. I think off-road are better. I'll keep one as my spare. Yeah, I would use the paddle tires for swamps for sure. I guess I gotta make a panel. And a bumper. No. What am I missing? I'm missing a panel at least. And a door.
You're out of here. We're upgrading the lead, lead and armored wherever we can. Fragile my ass. We're not doing fragile today. I am doing apparently a lot of repair putty. Oh, I got three repair putties. Let's do it. Smack. The insulator have been dope in a pinch. I'm Doug and I'm out of here. Oh no. You're fragile too. You're also out of here. You broke my heart, you big dumb idiot. Where in the world is fragile Carmen San Diego? What about headlights? Yeah. Bio headlights seem better days. Lamb emitter is doing okay, but it does get hurt bad. Whatever. We'll just get into it. And a poker chip. Or a squished can, I think. <clears throat> Alright, car's in good shape. I'm in good shape. All the quirks are diagnosed. A lot of the a lot of the stuff that was gonna break has broken and has been shredded. The limb emitter uh, keeps things from attaching to the car for a short period of time. So if something tries to latch and you pop that, it bounces off a shield. It drains the battery a little bit, but you'd be shocked how many things attached to this fucking car. <sighs> Alright, so... I guess I have, well, I guess I don't have to go this way. It's probably too late in the day to do this story mode, huh? Yeesh. I probably should save that for tomorrow. Well, I mean, like, the lower question marks I don't think are going to save us time. We actually started our day off doing that. Our lower, our lower question marks was us just, like, sort of fleshing out this area. But e even those runs... Even those runs will be... It'll be an hour, you know? And I probably should change to Breath Edge. As much as I'm enjoying, and I really am enjoying Pacific Drive. Oh, I mean, I could... I could do one more. I tell you what, I'll go until one, and wherever I am after one, that's where we'll stop and we'll pick up tomorrow. 
That's how we'll do it. Oh. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend time in the fog zone for the third time today if I don't have to. And I'm not gonna spend time in the next one where the zone is literally falling apart by the time we get there. Stabilizers. The fuck is a stabilizer? Oh, I know what I'm talking. I know what it is. It's just because we're in the same damn zone again. That could have gone differently. Nailed it, honestly. Oh. I very nearly got out and asked these lads for directions. Like, hey, fellas. <laughs> Question. Dude, I got a split. Well, at least we know now that, that closes the door. Parts of them are still landing. Oh, one take taffy that's what they call him that dude uh, gets it right every time I suddenly find myself potentially needing to be able to fix some problems I've had coming down these hills what do you got Duct tape into 9 volt batteries. I think I'm probably fine. Oh. Hello, friend. I was to say, I'm. Gonna need that vehicle back. I think duct tape only comes from crude panels. This place is murky and more terrifying than I remember it being.
Hey, Dark Knight Magic, what's going on, friend? I'm about to switch out. I'm about to have to switch out to. I will miss you, Plasma Scrapper. Anybody have any idea what in the Silent Hills is going on over there? Oh, the whole reason I did all that was so I could make a ceiling kit. I've hurt myself today to see if I still feel. Keep what's going on, friend. Try a thing, chat. Ugh. Regrets? I got a few. You coming over here to say hello? Keep acting like road flares are at a premium. I can probably afford to lose some road flares. I'm actually genuinely shocked that because of video game, like not because of video games, but in spite of all the video games that I've owned, I do not own a crowbar. It feels like something you just automatically do. If you want to be sporting that main character energy. pneumatic camera right now. Shit, well I guess I'm going back to the car anyway. Gordon Freeman saved- hey shit, oh, okay. Gordon Freeman saved my life! Probably could turn the car off, but I'm just so galdern stubborn. Stubborn. This crowbar is getting work. Gear into electronics doesn't seem so great.
I don't want to jinx it, but I'm glad the zone's taking its sweet ass time. I think that's one of my flares over there. Ooh, thermostat. From all the mannequin murder. Oh, that's fine, Wesley. It was it was a joke. I'm not like calling together a con congressional hearing to like ban video games with crowbars in them. That's a turlet. I don't think I need that. You're telling me you don't own an obligatory crowbar as a homeowner? How are you going to defend yourself from the wild boars, Taffy? Without your crowbar. There's a halfway decent chance that when my dad passes, I could end up owning quite a few firearms. I would... Is there still something in there? Oh, right. I would probably just end up putting them in a gun safe in storage somewhere. Again with those noises. What have I done? What's going on? What's wrong over here? Are you oxidized again? Again? Ugh. What does that even mean? I mean, like, I know it means rusted, but how does... How does a ceiling kit fix that, you know? What a lame segment, dude. They don't have any fun shit in here. You evil Canadian, what's going on, friend? Ceiling keeps the dirty oxygen out of the important parts. Is that like a for serious, uh, almost phys physics-based answer? I was not expecting that. I was expecting, like, Jesus does it, or whatever. I wasn't expecting, like, uh... A thought-out answer that might actually make sense. Hello, visitors. Hello, alien nurses. Alright. Hello? I guess we'll get our energy and leave this zone. I'm bummed out there wasn't more cool stuff here. Although, I didn't see this before. Hey, got ourselves a dumpster pearl. Spoilers, girlfriends don't like being called dumpster pearls. It doesn't matter where you met them. You know, I found that Found that out the hard way. <clears throat> Just because you picked her up in the parking lot of a Kid Rock concert. Doesn't mean... Um, what am I doing here? This is... Yeah. Doesn't mean that she necessarily appreciates being called your little dumpster pearl. I like doing that to send a message to the other ones.
I'm just looking for cool stuff near the exit. I'm sure as hell not seeing it. No, we actually found it. Nate, we solved it while you were gone. And we've decided we don't want to fix it. When the car is in the air, all the doors close. You didn't show up on my map, you little cheeky bugger. Yeah, we're not fixing that. That stays. You didn't show up on my map, you little cheeky devil. A lot of off-road tires. Yeah, we've decided that that may... That may be of use. I can do it. I didn't need to come up here. I could have waited. I bet you it flattens out. Sensory overload sometimes. I'll wait. I was gonna say, hypothetically, hear me out. What if I don't bring my car out here? This seems like a nightmare to try to get back. Little assholes. not exactly in a rush there's just not a whole hell of a lot going on in this section just trying to see if there's anything cool on the way out there's not not really oh there's Nate like Nate's right there but I mean like there's not really anything interesting towards the tail end of this zone sadly We do have it set up so that as long as the car's in motion and I'm not running the battery a million different ways from Sunday, we are constantly charging our battery. This steering wheel kicks ass. Yeah, I like this one. I wonder if the quirk you have where the car part uh, jump jack makes the car jump closes the doors. I, wa I, I would imagine, yeah, I would imagine that as soon as it sends me airborne, we're just going to drive through this one. I think what I'll do is I'll get through C4 and then this um, story section will be for tomorrow because with perpet with perpetual stability, we're going to loot until the shocks on our on our vehicle struggle. Perpetual stability in a zone. Don't mind if I do, you know, but I'm sure as shit not spending time in C4 here. Yeah, I heard you like looting. So we gave you all the time in the world to loot the living shit out of this place. And and the means to search it infinitely for all the resources you need. Oh my god. Well, okay, listen, we got time to do a little shopping. My pry bar broke. Please. A lot of duct tape.
That is a fire-breathing bobblehead that is not Godzilla, legally distinctly different from Godzilla, but kind of looks at him at a looks like him at a passing glance. You know what I mean? I have a flat. I've done this to myself. Yeah, I'm not here for lead. I'm here to make grave mistakes, baby! Mm. I just got just walk it off, which apparently you get for doing really stupid shit all at the same time. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. I guess we go around because there's a fucking mountain in the way. But I want that tape. Doesn't hurt to look. It hurts a little to look. Tempting. I gotta stay on the roads. I just have to assume it'll be faster. As much as I hate that, I feel like I just wanna make the straight shot. It's like a tunnel, but like a freaky tunnel. Well, I got time to get out and check this. All right, the zone's coming down, but like, Thankfully, the zone's not coming down, like, ridiculously fast, you know? Sorry. truck. It's not super impressive. Oh, fuck off. I just broke my windshield for the first time. 
I've never done that before. Oh, it's right there. I feel like you need to come visit the Olympic Exclusion Zone, Taffy. Maybe bring your mom out here. I think she would love a Seattle trip if we took her, if we just took took mom to Seattle and wined and dined her. My dad has said, he's like, oh, I don't want to travel anymore. So my mom was like, I'll go anywhere without him. My mom was like, if you go to Amsterdam, I'll go to Amsterdam. She's like, if you think it's like safe for a squat Southern woman who doesn't speak other languages to go, fortuitous that my battery is the one thing look at this i'm charging my battery by holding still anyway she has said uh, on any number of occasions she's like if you go to amsterdam i'll go to amsterdam if you go to new york i'll go to new york so if we took her to seattle and the pitch was we're gonna go hang out with nate and heather and we're just gonna go eat awesome food and do a little sightseeing. I think she would be super on board. Oh yeah, my dad, my, my, my dad talks about places like Seattle and Portland, uh, as as though as though it's like in you know. Oh hey dad, hey dad, what's going on? I'm in Pax West. I'm up in Seattle. Oh sorry to hear it. He talks about it like I'm in the 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 worst parts of like war torn Syria or something like that. Oh, you know what we can do while we're sitting here and it's raining. We can heal for free. It's a huge drain on the battery, but who cares? We turn the bat we turn the lights off, the battery just goes right back up with the hydro. And god yeah, God help yeah, God help me if I mention like Portland. And he's just like, oh Portland. Well, I hope you survive, son. Don't even stop for gas. Son, what are you up to? Oh, I'm in Seattle. Sorry to hear it. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna loot this place within an inch of its life tomorrow. Depending. She did say I was gonna have to go fast. Oh, you know what we can do real quick?
We didn't get to hear this before. How do you force 100,000 people out of their homes without facing major resistance? Even if you're the United States government facing down what's being peddled as the greatest threat our nation has ever faced, the answer is you don't. Exactly, explosion. That's exactly. Anywhere on the coast, you're lucky to get out alive is my dad's take on things. But my mom has gotten like real into travel and food now that he's kind of given up. And now that she knows I'll take her places, she'll fucking go anywhere. Here's the summary. There wasn't much. Now we jump tracks to the stories of the people. Yeah, I can turn the volume up. together old records and eyewitness accounts to form some fabric of the true story. Whoever's job it was at Arda to suppress stories did a really good job. What they did to keep that sheer number of people from talking, and then to smear the. But yeah, mom will go, especially if we tell her we're gonna feed her. Stroke of obfuscation. Unfortunately for Arda, the cases that made it all the way to court became public record, and the facts were these: Arda played nice at first with a generous relocation package. They offered cold, hard cash and built sprawling housing complexes in nearly every state to resettle the former residents. These new communities were built as idyllic, white picket fenced neighborhoods where you were sure to be surrounded by all American families who shared your same values while enjoying the benefits of government subsidized grocery stores, school districts, and manicured public parks. Not a bad deal for the looks of things. When it came to the holdouts, the people who wouldn't leave for any amount, things got ugly. But in the end, the government won out, as it always does. And while the government has the sovereign right to seize private property, the Fifth Amendment mandates just compensation be paid for it. But it doesn't specify when or how this compensation be made. And many dissenters ended up with nothing through good old loopholes and bureaucracy, some of whom are still pursuing their claims to this day. But the chilling thing is, those left with empty pockets consider themselves lucky. There is a saying they mutter amongst themselves under their breath, that at least they had the luck to not live in Sierra. There we go. Should I start planning your funeral? Because if you go, you'll just be killed. My dad, when I went to New York City, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. So I won't. I'll have to. I'll have to redo all the stuff we just did like fixing things, but that'll be about it. All right. So, uh, with Pacific Drive, we were in a zone that had uh, a story element in it, which means we get um, no zone collapse. We had just kind of come out of a funky area yeah, we've got perpetual stability in here. First to try crossing the old walls, the anomalies moved in. But we'll make sure you're the first to survive. Two things to keep in mind. First, to get through the old wall, there are five crossing points. You need to induce the electrical grid the entire way by driving the car close enough and fast enough along the conductors. You'll see them as you go. Once you jumpstart the grid, Tobias will route the mid-zone power your way, but no induction, no power, no power, no crossing. Second, watch your battery gauge. You will live or die by that thing. Got it? Good. Start by connecting the power grid at the first crossing point. The controls will be up in the observation tower. Well, the good news is we literally, not knowing that this was going to be a battery-intensive drive, just installed a bunch of stuff. This charges our battery when it rains. This charges our battery when it's sunny. And this charges our battery when it's windy. And this is an extra battery. So we actually put ourselves in a pretty good spot. That door is still messed up. I'm not really... in the mood to have this go sideways on me, so... We are going to loot the shit out of this place because it's not timed. And we will just go fast when we're done, you know? I'll go ahead and talk. Well, actually, you know what? I'll hold on to it. We don't really need to top off because right now we should be getting a full charge on our battery. 
Yeah, look at that. So we can heal ourselves in here for free. Doesn't matter that it just drained the shit out of our battery. Watch it go right back up. Let's figure out how we're going to do this first. I'm going to go take all of this place's power. Oh, Amber's here. Shh, be cool. Everybody acts normal. Yay, have fun. Love you, baby. Love you. Yeah, no, we're going to start putting it up. Uh, we're going to start putting it up on YouTube this week. Uh, Danny and I decided that it's, it's, uh, it should happen uh, sooner rather than later. All right, what do we got? Whole lot of nothing right by the gate. Uh, so the story missions actually grant you reprieve from, oh my God, oh my God, the game's gonna kill me. Actually, I need to do it this way first. I think there's a wall. I think there's a wall that's gonna keep me from being able to get over there. So yeah, the, um, the story missions are some of the few places where we get freedom to sort of be in the space for as long as we want. Otherwise, <clears throat> most other most other locations are problematic because they will collapse on you and they will kill you over time. Ugh, these assholes. Again. try to bank it off this one what are you doing the devil grinder well, that sounds fucking awful Remember when we used to avoid them? Oh, I'm still not crazy about them. And if I didn't have a jillion road players, I would probably still avoid them a little bit more. Can't help but feel like somebody's creeping up on- Ah, it's you! You're... The one creeping up on me. What are you? Tour bus. Oh no, why? Transmit, it's, it's, that's like, what the? It's a mannequin inside a claw. Transmission fragment, Dr. Anita Olson, November 28th, 1968. We lost Dr. Powell too now. God damn it, yes, yes, I'm fine. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, I'll hold. Yes, that's right. Yes, he wasn't adamant. It was, yes, he was adamant it was safe. It was stupid and it was unnecessary, that damn man. Listen, uh, oh, that's right, the tourists come out of the tour bus. Oh, no. Listen, tell your men to stay back. This is even uh, more dangerous than the others. It's like, it's like an evolution. Yes, it's what I said. Uh, I don't care what you think. We can worry about that later. Right now, I need a helicopter extraction and nobody, I mean nobody, goes near any more of those things. Don't forget, Captain, that the chain of command just changed. Now I'm in charge. God damn it, I need more flares. Well, thank goodness. Thank goodness we can A, heal at will. And B, we just have a shitload of flares. Yeah? Explosives to copper wire I don't really need. Yeah, I see ya. 
You think I don't fucking see you, bud? Shit. There we go. The tour bus means they spawn. That's crazy. Oh my god, they're stuck in the walls of this thing. Explosives? Those are new. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. The Game Boy. You probably shouldn't have this. You probably need, a spe uh, need specialist training. You probably need a license. You are probably in trouble. Who guru tier 154 months? I see the Florida road trip is going well. Thank you, who guru. I hope y'all got a lot of rest last night since today. We're uh since today we're being a 31 day march. A 31 day march, he says. Well, I'm almost out of road flares. Nice. What a what a bank shot. What are you? You're a resource, a beach ball. Red balloons. Baby's red balloon makes her fly. Weird. Anybody creeping up on me? Tourist trap. That's very clever. That's very clever. My bad, my bad, my bad. I 
I really couldn't stand for my um, battery to start charging up again. I really don't think that there is sun or wind or rain coming in right now, and that's really a uh, pretty sizable bummer. Who threw it? God, that's a huge dumpster pearl. Chemicals between us, the walls that come between us, lying in my bed. <laughs> Shit. Bank shot. size of this thing. It's huge. It's the biggest pearl I've ever seen. Really could stand for that freaking wind or rain to come back, man. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. In game, in game. Tree candy turns into red. Oh, red, red balloons or red bubbles? What the fuck is a red balloon? I don't have any tree candy on me though. I don't think. <clears throat> All right. So this. The charge station. Wait, did it charge while I was just sitting here? Did I not have to physically do anything? No, I want it to charge. How do I get it to charge? How to even begin to sum up my first few days on the job, my first experiences working for this organization. I have no idea where to start. Arda is doing some remarkable things and has plans for so much more. And the organization is growing at such a rate, it really does feel like we're recruiting the best of the best here, both at home and from overseas. We've been flying in new hires from halfway around the world and can uh, and admin can't process security clearances fast enough. It looks like I've been assigned to outfit of the to the outfit researching in inductive charging and resonant coupling. The team is small, but we'll be working with the very latest limb technology. And there's always already talk of how we might have a functional prototype by the end of next year. That means a working charging station, one deployed in the field, able to power devices from as small as a radio to as large as a small train. It's truly astonishing, and every morning I have to pinch myself. All 
I made a flashlight, didn't I? I feel like we have this conversation every time. That is my flashlight. Is there a switch I have to throw? Do I have to power it up? It's supposed to charge automatically? Hey man, those are Oh, it weird. is. It's just doing it real slowly. I know, man. I'm just going around from box truck to box truck. <clears throat> trying to find this goddamn bobblehead. Dude, it's charging. It's just charging so slowly. Oh, maybe that's just me. Well, the rain's coming in now. Oppie said you need to power it from the radio tower. That's got to be here. There must be a switch I didn't throw. Aha! That's a very fast and spicy meatball. All right, we're gonna go back and loot the rest of this town before we even try to go into this wall. There's corrupted energy I need here. Noah, thank you for the biddies, dude. Dude, this place is even more freaky than the last couple of places we went to. This place has mannequin spawners and things called devil grinders, which we're driving around right now. He bills you for the time watching stream. Listen, I, I am the first to get in line to flip shit to Noah. But when it comes to what he has or hasn't billed me over the years, I'm careful about ever opening my mouth because he has actively chosen not to bill me for thousands upon thousands of dollars that he could. I'm actually, like, hesitant to even mention that too often because I'm worried that it'll piss other people off, you know? Here we go. Here's a mannequin spawner called a tour bus. These are tourists, and these are tourist spawners. So yeah, I am careful about how often I... Oops. Ah! Listen here, bud. I need more flares. I don't know where that one I just dropped went. Oh, well. It's fine. This place is really scary. Like, it's it's pretty, pretty freaky. Like a freaky circle. I am out of shit to throw at these tourists until I find some more road flares. I was hoping for like a box truck. But I am not seeing any. So I gotta go around this wall? Can I go around this wall? Uh, 
I can't go around this wall. Can I get to this place? That looked like there's supposed to be like a tunnel there. Try to be careful not to fuck ourselves up too much. But it would be nice to build up a head of steam here. Don't hit the tourist trap, because you're out of flares. just push through that. I could probably make players, but if I'm being real, they're generally very easy to make. Or, sorry, find. <clears throat> so, spending resources on them feels gross. This place is walled off. The crate over there for what it's worth. A lot of snarling in this area. We're getting a lot of explosives. I'm not sure that we should, but we are. I don't suppose you got a locked trunk I can get into. Oh, you're all sorts of fucked. Let's vacuum this this globin. Hey Noah, did you ever watch the Denis Villeneuve Dune? Did you watch uh, Dune from a couple years ago? That's another big dumpster pearl. Saw the first one on the plane. Do you have any interest in seeing the second one in theaters? Grayson said he would go with me, and I don't doubt that he's telling me the truth. Grayson said... Oh, shit. I should fill up the car while I'm here. Grayson said he would go with me, and I don't doubt that he's telling the truth, but, uh... To get through the first one, we had to watch it in four sittings. And I really do kind of want to see this one while it's in theaters. Chat. Remind me at some point, like if I see fuel cans just laying around, I should probably stop. I did have the fuel synthesizer, like I really did have it on for a while, and it works really well if you have the time. So I had a fuel synthesizer right here, uh, but it turned out that like, I really felt like I struggled more with my battery. So like I put an extra fuel tank here and called it good. That's the first time that I've had to fuel up on this run in like three zones, but the battery constantly dies. I don't think there's anything else I can do, chat. I think I have to go... I think I have to go back. Is there a fuel depot... Or is there a fuel tanker near me? There's one there. I think. There's three there. So let's go ahead and gas up before we make whatever the hell this run's gonna be. Ugh, hold on. Let's back up a little bit. Health is a spendable resource, chat.
All right. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll find, um... Hopefully we'll just see some in transit. I don't like the idea of having zero fuel reserves, you know? How bad does this hurt me on foot? Not, it's not good. It's not good. We killed a lot of tourists in this area. At least I have some excess fuel now. Yeah, the amount of gasoline in these tiny ass little drums feels laughably small. We did get some corrupted energy on this run, which is really big for us. And we've discovered these things. Baby's red balloons make her fly. And inside have been just a shit ton of dumpster pearls, among other things. This one didn't have anything, so it makes a it makes a liar out of me, but we found a couple of huge dumpster pearls. Honestly. Can't do that? Weird. I don't like the fact that I can't transfer from one to the other, but oh well. Alright, go ahead and top off our health. Come in here and charge up. I guess don't be outside of it when that happens. All right, install a functioning limb shield to ensure a safe crossing. I have a functioning limb shield. I brought it with me for just such an occasion. Now we just go fast, huh? All right, Reptar, you and me, bud. Jack got excited about that second session last night. Yeah, he he knows something I don't. I have my my inexperience in uh, D and D holding me back. Wrong buttons, all of them. I just spammed everything.
Oh my god. I'm probably not supposed to do this. Noah! I can't find you, Noah. I'm sorry. I'm looking everywhere for you. This is the story of the newest That's terrible. denizen of the cave. Okay. I didn't go fast enough, I guess. Do I have to start from scratch? Ow, sorry. Don't step on the devil grinder. Is that my fault for stopping for collectibles? Yeah, it's probably my fault. All right, I accept responsibility. we got uh doors and panels almost everywhere and i need to do sealant on that how's this doing hold on am i draining my battery like aggressively Nah, I'm good. Wind and rain is keeping it charged up. Uh, okay, who else we got? Front right panels, both back panels. Let's do one more repair, or two more. Let's do one more repair putty. Sorry, I'm not really looking uh, at chat. I'm just uh, trying real hard not to screw the pooch here. So this is this is me playing the game, but it's only because if I genuinely fuck this up, I'm in I'm I'm in trouble. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna fix this panel. I can imagine I imagine that I can come back here once I've secured the zone, but I saw the ability to get collectibles and I kind of locked up. I valued collectibles over the survival of the run. That's right, the car is actually not a car. The car is an SCP style uh, um, artifact that you're working, like it's working with you and you're trying to learn about it. This is technically not a vehicle. Right now, we are going fast with the intention of opening gates so that we can pass through places. Tobias, how's the power rally? Well, the neighbors are complaining about the flickering lights, but I told them to light some candles and sit tight. Francis, levels are good, holding steady. I'm basically doing a slalom right now. Keep it up, 
So we're gonna come back and explore this area if it'll let us. Fortunately, we didn't know this, but we inadvertently, we inadvertently installed a whole bunch of stuff to make our batteries stronger. I mean, like they're giving us every opportunity in the world to charge this thing, but still. This is all kind of like stuff we need to keep making repair putty. Which, between repair putty and, like, now gasoline is kind of, like, my concern. Finding, like, gears and stuff, which is nice. I'm not taking time to, like, grind stuff up right now. This is the story of the newest denizen. Yo, Clayco, tier 1, 13 months. I sure appreciate these paid recurring subs. Uh, we were talking about this all week. Um, Twitch is gonna try in May to reduce my cut of my revenue they are interested in taking me down to 50 50 uh but may settle for only knocking me down to 60 40 from 70 30 uh 60 40 would be a four figure a year pay decrease for me um 50 50 would be a five figure a year pay decrease for me uh so like they've told me that primes don't count uh and gifted subs don't count so anybody who's considering you know, if you've ever been in a place where you're like, you know, it's nice that everybody keeps giving me subs, but, uh... Maybe at some point I'll want to throw my own hat in the ring. Now would uh, really be the time. <laughs> so that I, uh, don't have to door dash at night. Um, all that being said... All of you who have upgraded to Tier 2 or upgraded to... to all of you that have upgraded to Tier 2 or Tier 3... Uh, or anybody who's continued their gifted sub or converted their prime to a repeating sub uh know that i am in your debt in a big way i i think we'll get this solved all we have to do is i have to stay at 300 sub points for three months in a row and then they'll um give me a year of 70 30 and this will just be something that we kind of have to fight every may or august depending on when we get it all sorted out but it would be nice to not have Dan Clancy take my money back away from me. And yeah, we will absolutely be working on setting up multi-stream. It's just that we couldn't set up multi-stream when I was in a period of time where I had a bunch of... When I was in a period of time where I had a bunch of... Um, sponsored time. Oh, fuck off, really? Guess I'm glad I fixed everything up. Getting some interference, Tobias. The power supply is wavering. I'm working on it. Our local battery farm is putting up a fuss. She hasn't been taxed like this in a while, but I'm easing her into it. Don't worry. Don't think I'm not coming back here and exploring. Power farms one through three are reporting total power drain. They're spent. How long to recharge? Could take up to a day. No, oh, no, I got, I got this. Oh no. That was a lot. Oh, shit, shit. Total power loss on stations 9 through 15. I'm on it. Oh, shit. Get that power back up. The gate at the final crossing point won't open without it. I'm rerouting power from battery farm 6. Easy. Too much and you'll blow out your control center. Too little and the entire array's going down. We have no choice. This is a lot. I mean, I can leave with what we got and I can feel pretty content, but I would like to milk this section for all it's worth. 
Finally, re-upping on some... Re-upping on some flares. Again, Clayco, thank you so much. Tier 1, 13 months. Damn, thank you so much for the sub streak. Or the view streak. No worries, Smash. Like I said, I don't I don't want anybody to overextend. If you can't, you can't. I get it. I don't want anyone to, to put themselves in a compromised situation on my account. But I gotta I gotta I gotta ring I gotta ring the bell a little bit. I gotta be my own uh whistleblower about the situation. Cause nobody else is gonna advocate for me the way I need to advocate for me, so this is just me putting it out into the universe that uh I'm fighting hard to not let Twitch hold my head underwater until I have to change careers. Explosives into plastic. I don't know what explosives are used for yet, so I'm not super key. Whoops. Oh, no. Well, there goes my flashlight. I just accidentally dropped it under the stairs, I think. I right clicked because I was gripping the mouse too hard and it dropped my flashlight under the stairs. Bummer. Oh no. Maybe I'll fix the car up a little bit before we go into that bullshit. Yeah, drop, drop. Drop is right click. Pick up is hold E. But drop is right click. Yeah, zone 3 includes tiny little black holes that just suck your flashlight straight to hell. <laughs> Should have thought about that before you brought a flashlight to this place. It's so dangerous. Yo, Partherax, what's going on, friend? Oh, it's my door. I was like, the door, the door. There we go. All right, if we're about to take a fucking beating, let's do it fast. I wish I'd gotten my uh, engine upgraded before I came through here. All sorts of stuff I want to come back in here and investigate. The devil grinders are not nearly as bad as I thought they were, but I really don't want to like keep hitting them if I don't have to. Just 
I gotta make sure I keep having enough stuff for, uh... I gotta make sure I keep having enough stuff for, um... Seal- uh, or for a uh, repair putty. Poor Tobias. I will admit, the game's so intense, it's hard to notice what's going on with the conversation. Because so much shit's happening outside the car that I'm like, I'm gonna have to go back and read that transcript or have chat tell me what they said. It sounds intense. In the conversation, it's super intense when you're driving the car and trying desperately not to hit like huge swaths of tourists. Or trying not to like hit an immovable object that gets you stuck in a devil grinder, you know? Boy, I've not gotten this much use out of a uh, impact hammer in a long time. Yeah, that's like that's what I'm saying is like when I'm out, like the reason that I only get in about two ventures or, or drives in a day is because once I'm out in the wild, may, like maybe not so much in zone one, but in, definitely in zone two, and I have to imagine in zone three, things get so intense that like, I can't talk to you. And I don't like that, but I'm also not gonna not play this game. So like, it is what it is. And then I just take huge swaths of time where I'm like, let's just talk chat. In between where we're just dicking around at the garage because that's when I feel like I have time to talk to you and not, you know, risk flipping the car and losing all the shit that I just earned. All right, here we go. Turn left. I will go back and explore these zones. This may be the only zone we see today, chat. If this thing's not gonna collapse on me and there's shit everywhere that I didn't get my hands on while I was here, you had better, by God, believe. That I'm coming back here to loot the shit out of this place. I do wish I'd upgraded my... I do wish I had upgraded my engine for this. Tobias, stay with us. I got you on me. Friends. Well, what do you know? One time, I tried myself out of things to say. Bobby, take care of I have to look. Tobias! Tobias, no! As I say, is Tobias gone gone? I love you forever. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know that I've felt this way since that episode of The Walking, or the, that episode of uh, The Last of Us with Nick Offerman. Listen, they would understand that I need materials to keep this car in one piece. Then he went, I think I think a lot of them won awards for that episode. All right, what's every? I was gonna say I gotta have stuff that's fucked up. We gotta break out more repair putty. 
Just gotta keep myself in enough repair putty to keep alive and or looting. Armored doors getting kind of roughed up. Limb shields kind of roughed up. Headlights are taking a beating. I need one more repair putty. Do I have a repair putty up here? I do not. I got the stuff to make it. If there's ever a time I wish I had a blowtorch. My tires need love. Everything else will live. Music's intense. Well, shit, I'm glad I stopped when I wanted to. I mean, like, if I'm being fair, we're kind of low-key running out of a little bit of storage space, but I'm glad I stopped for the stuff on the side of the road. We have perpetual stability here, I suppose. I did leave one anchor behind that I wish I hadn't. Yeah, at this point, what is it? Theseus's 1983 uh, uh, station wagon? We're now more... Repair putty than car. Where am I? Oh no. The entire area got scrambled in instability. I'm afraid, Tobias. I told you. I, I, I told you, didn't I? The fuck? We were ready. We should have planned it better. We, we, we should have known. We did the best we could. No. Do not give me that. If we had, he'd there I am. with us. I'm sorry, but we've got to help the driver. Don't you dare. What? Wait, is this how you dealt with Alex then? You just you put your head down and, and, and let's work fill the gaps? Actually, that's precisely what I did. And you'll recall the breakthrough in self-healing materials that I made that year. Oh, well, good for you. I'm sure Alan would have been very proud of you using his death that way. You know what? That whole pep talk I gave you before to convince you to go through with it. That's precisely the same crap Alan would tell me all the time. It's worth the sacrifice. Stay late. Don't worry about me. Finish your work. Then oh. we can start a family. <laughs> always, always you spew that crap. Swollen so fixed say none. Me? Because he has to have been right. Because if I let myself think he was wrong, then... I... Can't live with that regret. I gave everything for them. This is the last thing I'm holding on to for myself. Every single day. Kind of is what it is for now. Sorry about Tobias. Tobias is was all I had. I uh, <coughs> I need to sign off for a while. We'll be here when you're ready. Glad you got through, driver. Power on that stabilizer. Oh shit. Shark teeth decal. Stop doing that. Yeah, it is totally Bert and Ernie. 
fuel. We're okay. Ooh, there's a truck. There's a truck, baby. This is why we play the game. Note to self, battery on the outside, kind of dicey. I also have uh, anomaly chaser stickers and a decal for numbers. I want the anomaly chaser sticker to stay safe. Perpetual stability, so I will 100% be grabbing all these anchors. The fuck is that? Just a little bit radioactive. Radioactive. Well, I can't hit this with a ceiling putty or something, huh? Swollen, fixed, none. Well, you know what I can do? I can't just keep it patched up, I guess. Yeah, in real life, swollen batteries are... Mui Mall. Not, uh, not a thing I would ever want to encounter in real life. I'm not super thrilled about it in my video game, but here we are. Fucking magnet over there. What's going on, Foo? Did y'all see the world event in Helldivers yesterday? That we apparently failed to defend super earth and in, uh, inhabited territory. And the automatons burned many of our adequately sized houses. Magnet. I don't know what the magnet is, but I want to see. So we're in the Act 3 area now. What are you all about? Oh, you're a limb magnetizer. What is the fuck does that do? Private field notes. Dr. AF Kenji Lopez Alt date unknown. We continue to experience a growing demand for on-site manufacturing and engineering facilities, especially as artists request for a custom built equipment increases. It has become uh, difficult to keep up with the degradation experience within the zone uh, within the zone it takes a daily toll. In particular, we find ourselves in great need of a deal of a uh, great deal of machine parts and magnets. For the latter, it has become necessary to improvise large machines that can quickly magnetize ferromagnetic uh, elements and their alloys in the hope that we can mass produce replacements. While our early prototypes were somewhat jury rigged and themselves vulnerable to vagaries of the zone's conditions, uh, I believe I have devised a substantially sturdier solution. I'm distributing blueprints of this limb assisted device to all department heads. So we just stick scrap in there? I got I got scrap, Greg. How you holding up? Yeah, you're good. I don't know. Oh my god. Limb magnets. That's new. 
That's a crafting material I've never seen before. Uh, this comes out. That goes in. Yeah, that's cool. I've never seen one of those before. I don't like that. Where am I? Uh, we're going that way anyway. Corrupting core in this thing. Are you shitting me? I guess I got my flashlight back. I don't know when that happened. Oh no, I got that pearl. I dead ass got that pearl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not out here on the ground. It sucked it in my inventory. We are loaded on dumpster pearls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always have room for dumpster pearls. Truer words never spoken. Truer words never spoken. I'll be deep in the cold, cold ground before I don't have room for a dumpster pearl. I'd sooner jettison the radio than leave a dumpster pearl behind. I can figure out what I'm supposed to do. This has been a crazy run, dude. Explosives into electronics, not really feeling it. Light replacement kit. I haven't seen one of those in a minute. Yeah, fucking I hear ya. Hold on. Yep. Fussy ass. Ah, uh, that is not what I meant to grab. as I'm here. We have cornered... Cornered the corrupted anchor market. Ugh. Is this a thing? Not a thing. All right. Tourist traps are freaky as fuck, dude. I'm gonna go investigate the blo Blobia Globin.
Neat. I don't want to put words in my mouth, chat, but I'm actually getting close to being okay with the idea of leaving. Only because we are just loaded. Loaded with stuff right now. At a certain point, deal or no deal becomes deal, you know? Unless unless you're a self-sabotaging asshole. Ooh, I feel you. I know. You're getting fussy. We gotta get you down for a nap. I'ma get that hemoglobin. What are you? Oh, you're lead shielding. That was a bunch of, uh... A mini turbine. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I think I just replaced one. A single, a single. A single marsh egg is kind of underwhelming, but whatever. God, so fussy. Can't wait to make that turbocharged engine, man. I feel like I could stand an engine with a little more pick-me-up, you know? Fucking explosives crate. I gotta imagine I'm close to being done with looting for this run. Well, okay, after this area, obviously. I actually need a pry bar. Gotta keep my eye on my health. It'd be a shame to fucking die out here for no good reason other than I haven't been scared of death in this game in a minute. I do love lore. cabinet of Dr. Caligari. That's it for here. I don't think I'm going to worry about hitting shit with the impact hammer. I do have to worry about getting out of here before my battery destroys my entire vehicle. The way an asshole would. Limb magnetizer.
I would like to leave here with just about as much... Uh, as many of these new batteries as I can get my hands on. Can you imagine driving an El Camino instead of a station wagon? I suppose so. I, I, I like El Caminos. I used to think for a while that I might want one. I like the way El Caminos looked when I was a kid. Dodge Miniman from the 80s. Boy, this pry hammer got work. This time around. All right. We do this third one over here. We do our best not to attract the attention of the tourists. We do whatever this radio tower is, and then we get the fuck out of Dodge, man. I've been in here. So I've done all three of these. Good. I think I'm ready to get my mildly cranky car on the road and get out of here. I think she's earned a little. I think she's earned a little R and R. Anyone else feeling fucking froggy? to happen. Oh. Zone's closing, whether I like it or not. We're out of here. Perpetual stability, my ass. <sighs> ah, I fucking nailed it. I fucking nailed it. Anybody who says otherwise is a liar. Oh, boy. Access to the deep zone and escape to the auto body shop. Chat, we have so much work to do. <laughs> <laughs> 